Hello everyone, welcome back to Bonsai Expression. I'm Christoph. If anyone's new, I'm pleased to meet you. Welcome. Anyways, today I thought it's not too bad. I've just been looking around the uh, garden. The weather's it's quite okay, but now and again we do get a little bit of a breeze and the, the breeze is a bit chilly, so I'm wrapped up. If we just look here on my polytunnel, just there, you'll see I've got some tape there. My zip's broke, which means Hopefully, I'll be upgrading very, very shortly. Well, until now, it gets me through the rest of this winter. And we're just coming into spring in a month, I think it is. It's official spring. So until then, the temperatures slowly rise. And then just before spring itself, we'll get what's called a fake spring. So the temperature rise, it looks all nice and calm. And then all of a sudden, we'll get frost again. So... As long as it gets me past that, we're all good. I've still got the other one, which is in this direction, just here. Um, so that's all taped up until about this bottom part, just here. I've got a little bit of a, a little crevice. Uh, I just need to finish taping that off, but we're all okay. The other side here, that zip's okay, but I'm a bit dubious about getting in and out. So it's holding for the time being. But that's not what you're here for. It is an update, but it's not what you're here for. Today, we're working on my eBay Chinese arm and after much deliberation with myself going back and forth I've made a decision where I want to take this so you can't really see it because it's overgrown but if you've watched the last two videos and if you haven't the playlist will be ended at the end of this video so I'll leave it next to me on these videos at the end please leave to, please wait till the end watch the video We've got a bit of swelling in the middle here, so when we get off the uh, off the stand here, we'll get in and I'll show you. I've decided I'm going to leave it and I'm going to let it grow and we're going to go for a broom style. So everything else we've got here is nice developed, and we're going to broom it so it's so the tree will come out like that all the way around. So that swelling that's here will just eventually it'll be natural so that's where we're going and then I've also got one section which is ouch, this tall lead that comes out is more dominant again I'll show you yeah I'll show you when we're on the uh, when we're on the bench I'm gonna leave that as leader and I'm gonna have it slightly out of the canopy so Everything's going to be like that, and I'm going to have one this slight dominant leader that raises out. So it's, it's a little more out of character than what you would say as a uh, as the normal rules of bonsai. So it's everything. The tree's going to be like this, and I'm going to but slightly raised on one side. So it's still, so it's going to have like yeah. I think that's the way we're going to go with it. That's the idea, anyways. So. Anyway, let's get you off the bench and I'll, I'll take you in proper. We'll clear it all up and uh, I'll show you what I mean properly. It's, it's hard to visualise, well, you can't see it, obviously. So, let's have a wander around. Okay, now let's get you started by showing you this swelling that I started going on about when you were on the tripod. So if I can get you zoomed in here. So, just about... Uh, come on, let's move all this out of the way. Just there, that's where the swelling is going to start going. My hand's in the way again. There we go. So there is where the swelling is starting to begin. Where everything is coming from the junction. And now it's leaving the way. So just down in there is where the swelling is. So all the... There you go. So all the branches are coming from one point. So that is now starting to swell. And if I can get you in from another angle, if I can move some out of the way, you'll see it better and from there. So you can see. Uh, the longer that goes on, the more that swelling's gonna get worse. Now if I try and change the style of the tree, so my other idea was to develop this branch 
and then this leader. And then remove all this and then probably cut along here. It wouldn't eradicate the swelling properly. Just, I would try and cut down here. And I don't think it would work. So I thought, I haven't got a broom tree. Let's try and make one. And this eBay tree, although it cost me more than I thought I was getting, see the original video, I overpaid for what I thought. I overpaid for what I got, although I thought I was underpaying for what I was getting. Let's just see what I can do with it. And let's have an experiment. So, first things first, I need to clear it out. So, I'm going to come in and just start by removing all these leaves that I fell off. I'm going to clean all this up. And then once we've done that, I'm going to try and remove this weed as well. Which is in here. I think it's some sort of moss. Yeah. Let's get rid of that as well. So, continue cleaning out these leaves. And then, what I will try and do is just gently run my hand along each branch and just see if any of the rest of these leaves just come away in between my fingers now i'm not putting any sort of pressure on the branches themselves i just want to see if any of them fall off just to clear out any of the yellowing leaves just to give me a bit more room so i can see what i'm doing I mean, some of the, most of the branches are going to be coming off anyways. But it just helps me see. And as you can see, some of them are falling. Get the rest of these out of the way. Now you're not gonna want to watch me clear the rest of this out, so I'll just clear the rest of this and then come right back. All cleaned up. Look at that, looks a hell of a lot better already. We've not even worked on the tree yet. So let's get a pair of snips. And first things first, I just want to go in and just reduce everything just back. Just going to start by going in, pulling everything back to a nice compact shape. Once everything's pulled in, then we'll go in and start making proper decisions on the shape. So all we want to do now is we're not making any decisions on the shape we're just bringing it in because we know this is just far too long and leggy and I know I'm not going to be using any of this length so we just go around the tree and you can see already just a few of them cuts it just looks alright looks all right. well it looks a hell of a lot better already
And even once we trim these back, we might not necessarily keep all the branches. So that's the structure already. So there you can see, if I point this out, there's that strong leader I was talking about that I wanna be keeping that raises above the main structure. I don't wanna be keeping it that high up, so I will be reducing the height of it. So let's go in and you should be able to see now that swelling properly. If I just move that out of the way. There you go, look at that. Everything comes from this section. This is why we're gonna be going for a broom. I think it's the best choice all around. I do think there's a tree in itself, just here, once it's cut back. The other option is air laying, air layer in there, that would give you a really nice tree. But I just want to continue with this, I think it's a really nice option, even though you've got that daft swelling. Let's see where we go. As I say, we'll broom style it, and then in the future, if it doesn't work, and it doesn't work out, we'll cut all that off, air layer it. We know we can continue to grow the rest of this up like this, and we can have a nice tree out of it. I'll just air layer it and get something different. It's an eBay tree, it's all about experimenting. You should always have yourself a nice little cheap old tree that you can play with. I've got plenty of them, but this is my experimental cheap old tree and we'll see what we can do with it. So let's have a spin. So let's get to work creating the structure. So I need to slide this a little bit towards myself so I can actually reach it. Right, with you guys in my left hand and a pair of snips in my right, let's develop this structure. First things first, this little branch here is going right across into this tree here, this branch structure. I need to remove that completely. And I'm going to shorten this branch here. Let's spin it around so you can see. I'm going to shorten it back. Hopefully, back bud out here a little bit. I'm going to snip this back as well. I've got a bud on the right side. Cut back to this side branch. I want to cut back as well because it's just too long. I'll do the same with this one, and then the inner part I will remove. I will actually leave this growing up. Come on, focus, please. There you go. So I've got this little section here that's growing up. Now if we're growing a broom style, I'm going to have some sort of section that needs, probably going to need to grow up. So we're going to leave that. So I'll grow this one outwards. And we'll grow this one upwards. And we'll see if I can grow. And we'll pick which one we want to keep in the future. I've also got this one on the side here. We're going to have to remove completely it's just too far back if I can show you it's 
Move that. Oh. Focus. Move that branch. So this one just in here. Come on, focus please. Let's get that out of the way. That branch just there in the center of your screen is too far back. It's gonna have to go. It leads onto all the reds of that mess at the bottom. As you can see, that now opens that section there. Oh, lovely, the sun's just come out. I've got a little pad developing underneath. I don't want it going down, I want it aiming slightly upwards, so that's going to have to go. I also have some small sections at the bottom as well. That's too far in. I have one back here, starting to go up. Possibly need to keep that. So, if we're going to keep that one, there it goes. If we're going to keep that one, this should probably get cut back. So, let's slowly move in so it stays focused. There you go. So, let's cut all this back. There you go. Now we will develop this one upwards. And just on the inside of it, I need to take that off. There we go. This one grows up, but it's too far in. It's going. Got one growing up just here. Come on, focus. Don't focus on everything else. There, I'll leave for now. These are all going down. If I move, slide this round. Coming up, so this is quite congested. So we need to get rid of that. And the one below it. This section, I need to trim right back. So here, I'm gonna cut off, and I'll leave this to grow. I'll cut that back. I've got a leaf here. Put you in, a leaf here now. That should hopefully grow upwards. If you can see that more better, more better, is that Proper England? <laughs> is that correct English? I don't think it is. There it goes. That's in the crotch, we need to get rid of that. And all them bits under there. Right. Let's move around to this section. So we've got all these twigginess, which is nice, but they're all in the wrong direction. Now some of it's so fine you can't it, the camera's not picking it up. Just under, you can see there we go, it's picking these ones up. These are 
on the in the oh we don't want them down there let's remove all that out Hopefully this section's picking up now. Well, this section here is an eyesore. That goes too far out, I think. Let's pull it back in a sec. Uh, I think this just needs pulling out in here. But we'll see for the time being. So all this section is now, I think, in the right sort of places. I think we're looking from the top, from the bottom to the top. The only one that might need sort of correcting. that one there this one might have to go in the future if it doesn't if we can't get it to turn or fill in with this one maybe this might have to go time being I'll see what it does and then you come up you've got this branch which will help fill in Take it back a little bit more. It's just a little bit too long. Yeah, let's get to this bit. So you can see all these twigging sections will start here. Just here. So this one is at the bottom. It's growing underneath. I'll remove that. If you can see from the bottom there, probably the best angle for me to show you. Let's pull that in. Why are you so out of focus? There we go. Let's move up to this section. Why won't you focus? There we go. Hey, there we go. Silly camera just doesn't want to work. Right, so all this twigging at the back, it's all in the wrong places. Let's take that out and that. These ones towards the bottom. like there the camera keeps going in and out of focus because the twigging is just so fine it won't stay in focus
just going through these sections again, doing exactly the same. So the section I've just done, just completed there, if I go in, you can see. We've just managed to accomplish. I just pull everything back, get rid of the twigging and all the incorrect spots. Trying to correct the directions that we need it in. So let's bring it around onto this section. So if I look on this one here, we've got one growing up, which we would like to keep, so I'll just snip that back. This one's growing down, don't like that. This one here, so it's interfering with the branch here, I'd like to keep, so I'm just going to remove it completely. this branch here I want to clean it up though There's this one right here and then the twig in I'm just gonna pull it back hopefully that doesn't die back because it is so fine This one here I've got, well, this one, I've got a board close to my finger and that's the direction I would like it to grow in, so I've left it there. Cut that one back, this one's growing down, I don't want that. So there we go, we can now see the internals. the tree set I just need to now set these canopy so the main canopy is now growing so if you can see it's there so this I just need to this needs to sort of grow up this way a little bit I could wire it in everything just needs to sort of grow upwards pull out everything upwards a little bit and this, I would like to say, just reducing height just a little bit. So I think maybe or there. Let's reduce it to there. For the time being. That needs reducing. This one has to come out. It's just too close. That's got to come off. It's in the crack. That's got to come back. That's in a crevice. Come back. This is far too long, that's far too long, 
So that is still far too long, but I don't want to cut it back to a downward. Come on, focus. A downward facing. So at least it'll force a growth upwards. So if the no buds come on that, I can then bend that one upwards to grow. Take that as my leader. Put that back. Remove that. Thinking everything is in shape. This one is possibly too long. Too far outside the canopy. Let's shuffle it back. Nah, I like it. So that's where we're at. So you can see it coming together. Everything's starting to grow upwards. These ones are lagging behind, so I need everything to start growing upwards now on the ends of these tips. Growing upwards. And then this one as well. This is already starting to do that. I turn that round. This one's growing upwards. Around some more. This can then start growing upwards a little bit more. This one, I'll start growing upwards now as well. The one at the back has already started growing upwards. This small one here is in the right direction to grow upwards. This one's growing outwards, but again, a bit more growth in the right direction. Can be bent a little bit more upwards with some more growth, possibly a bit of wire. And then these, as I say, these are the two fronts. We just need them growing upwards and we'll have that nice broom style with the main leader in the middle everything growing around it i feel this is going in the right direction then this side branch here grow upwards as well so for an ebay tree yeah we're doing all right I hope you can see my vision with this one. This branch isn't really needed, but I'm just helping it. Let's see. Just helping with the scar mark just there. And also a little help in thicken the tree a little bit. So that one's set, ready to go for some new growth in the spring. This one can be turning into a, a nice little tree. I'm excited for this one. Also, I might have some potentially nice pots to go for this. Just let me grab one or two. I have a couple of pots that potentially might suit. So maybe something like this for in the future. This one's quite deep. more shallow pot and then I've got this one as well this one's a bit dusty something like that for in the future for it got a couple of others but we've got lots of options so yeah good looking tree there we go, all trimmed up, ready for spring growth. Can't wait for this one. So the decision, I feel, probably for the best. Chinese Elm bought on eBay. Probably one of the worst buys I got, but I think it's gonna be one of the better trees I've got after, um, you know, 
making the best decisions that you can for your tree. So here we have it. So that swelling is going to come good. You make the right decisions for your tree, do your right cuts and go on with it. Don't always let your tree make the decisions, you've got to make the decisions for your tree. But it also works in harmony. Let the tree help you, you help the tree. And um, I think that's going to be the way forward for it. If it doesn't work, we go, we let it grow tall, we make a cut. Well, we don't necessarily make a cut, but we eventually make a cut, because we layer it. And we see what we can do with that. But I think it's going to look good. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Is this something for the future? Are we going to get a good tree out of it? Because I sure think we're going to do really well with it. Anyway, I'm going to leave a video here of the playlist. So please check it out, see what I'm up to with it. And um, for those of you that are enjoying it, um, thanks for keeping up to date with everything. I um, appreciate everything with your, your support. And um, please do like and subscribe my videos. Uh, it means the world to me. And uh, anyway, I've got... Um, more videos to do and uh, it's just about to start raining so I'm going to go and have my dinner and get a brew so uh, I'll catch you in the next one everybody thanks for watching bye bye oh let's put my tree away first bye